welcome back to my channel. Now again, uh, another rant, uh, another rant. Uh, so I'm trying new things uh, with this channel. Now I'm in the house. I cannot be all the time in the house because I have roommates and stuff. So I cannot occupy the living room. Now there is nobody. Let me know how is the audio because I'm using a microphone. Uh, so after that, let's jump into the topic that I want to discuss today and it is technology and why technology is not always the solutions to problems. Uh, actually, uh, I think that nowadays we kind of overuse technology for solving a lot of stuff that are not technological in nature. One simple example might be, I don't know, your husband or wife is cheating on you and you want, you know, a technological way to discover if that's actually the case. But uh, this is actually not uh, the problem. The problem is basically on mistrust. Uh, it probably is better to have a talk or something like that instead of spying and having proofs and playing those i mean uh, those games uh, we overuse technology because we don't know what to do uh, i think that the problem is like giving junk food to your brain you just scroll to see if there is something interesting and that's how you keep on consuming content you basically don't know what to do and you go in social media and uh, search what um, what other people are doing and see uh, and that's just a lot of noise uh, really in your life the things that you don't uh, you shouldn't do uh, what you should focus is to actually build stuff create stuff on your own and if you get used to uh, uh, to do that that's actually just a habit because it's very easy to get into your phone you know wherever you have some moments just to uh, kind of um, break time like to do stuff but uh, it's actually very important to don't do anything and let me elaborate on that if your brain is constantly bombarded with junk information then you don't have time to think and uh, I think procrastination is very very important because it kind of gives you um, time to reflect on what's going on I mean I have a lot of ideas while I'm not on the phone if I you know waste time playing video games and do other stuff then I I cannot I don't have space in my brain to think about other things that might be solutions to problems or relational things. So my suggestion is just to take your time to go for walks, clear up the brain, and uh, I mean, just uh, give yourself time to think. You have uh, I have had a lot of ideas. I mean, I uh, my passion is algorithms. And I had, I mean, all the things that, uh, I mean, I thought and invented um, came just by, you know, walking or working on, uh, on, on the problem. A lot of times solution to the problems come in an unexpected way, but the important thing is that you're actually doing stuff. So all the times that you're not doing stuff, you are consuming uh, content, TV, Netflix, uh, YouTube, uh, whatever. It's time that you could just do something that you like, really. So that's, uh, uh, that's basically my rant. It's much better to do stuff than just uh, have the habit of not doing anything. If in a day uh, you need to consider how much you produced and how much you consumed if you produced uh, way more than you consumed then it's uh, fine but if you are a compulsive consumer uh, then there is a problem if you don't go to work if you just eat a lot uh, watch tv uh, play with your phone or with your pc 
all the day every day then there is a problem there is like a habit problem I'm not saying to do not watch tv series or uh, play a video game from start to end because i mean it's fun but once the game is over or the tv series is over then i mean you should do something else that's uh, the problem is the habit doing stuff every day that in the end uh, logorates you because it doesn't bring you nowhere you just spend money you are the product of some company and you don't build anything uh, for yourself whatever it is i mean it's um, it's always better to do stuff than to be compulsive uh, consumers uh, that are uh, let me know what are the thoughts on the matter i mean i know that this is practically a very broad rant that i that i did uh, but actually before closing let me tell you another thing uh, learn uh, more about technology so this is uh, something that helps you a lot in the long uh, long run learn more about computer technology because they are so relevant in this world and you want to know how for instance internet works or how because um, uh, there is under a security standpoint it's uh, it's very important that you know uh, how easy it is actually to spy on you it's very important to know how to build uh, software infrastructures and having own projects and it is very important for optimizing uh, your workflow and whatever you're doing nowadays uh, computers are everywhere i mean we use that most of the people use them daily and uh, most of the professions are in front of PCs so sometimes people think okay should we put uh, should everybody learn how to code and up to that question I would say uh, yes I mean in the broader education system the, the people teach a lot of things that will not be relevant and don't get me wrong i mean uh, a lot of times coding will uh, serve no purpose to you if you are a doctor if you are um, uh, i don't know plumber or whatever other profession a lot of profession don't if you flip burgers you don't need how to code but uh, it's uh, it's good if you want uh, for instance uh, to sell products get statistics and uh, uh, do really a lot of uh, stuff and side stuff because uh, we think that you only have one profession but I think in the future uh, people will be way more flexible and uh, it's good to have different source of incomes and coding and uh, computers it's something that you can have home and uh, you can work out of that so I think it's a good investment in general to teach everybody uh, how to code even if uh, that will not be the main thing in the education i mean we teach math and a lot of people don't use math at work i mean oh who good is math to flip burgers so um, coding is uh, is very relevant in our society i think it should be everybody should learn how to code but uh, yeah even if not everybody will uh, use it that's uh, my thought on the matter and yes learn where to use technology not everywhere as i said in the beginning of the video is not um uh, it's not always the solution to problems having said that if you still uh, are around uh, click the like button comments on the topic and subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more rants like like this one see you next time